balanced news and severe weather coverage. This is Fox 11 News at 9. Three weeks into spring and Mother Nature piles on the snow. This is now the snowiest April on record for Northeast Wisconsin. The morning began with winter storm Evelyn leaving behind snowy roads and residents digging out. Hundreds of events canceled, businesses closed. Normally right now, my doors should be dinging. There's been a lot of dinging. There's been people coming and going, um, but it's been a ghost town. And the high winds and mounting snow left behind plenty of damage. Upgraded to a blizzard this evening, Northeast Wisconsin prepares for round two. Snow, much more snow. The worst of blizzard Evelyn is yet to come. On Friday, April 13th, the first wave of Blizzard Evelyn marched into Northeast Wisconsin. It started primarily as sleet and rain. The ice came down in sheets, accompanied at times by thunder and lightning. Look at the ice. This is freezing ice. Ice in the thunderstorm. Evelyn was expected to stay just sleet and rain at first before changing to snow by Sunday. But everything changed to snow Friday night. By Saturday morning, up to 18 inches of snow had already fallen, with the highest totals in Shawano and Ocano counties. We shoveled since Friday, we've been shoveling. Yeah. And we love every minute of it. It's just so pretty. And then round two. Snow started again early Sunday morning and lasted all day long. Another foot or so of snow fell, and the massive amount of snow over such a wide area essentially shut down northeast Wisconsin. There's people that have to get, they work as a nurse at a hospital or whatever, they have to get to work. Um, and everybody understands that we do the best we can to keep the roads open, but Mother Nature can beat us flat out. The highest storm totals were in Carlsville and Stiles with over 30 inches. Okano and Shawano were within an inch of that mark. This is the biggest storm I've seen since I was, I'm 64 now and since I was probably nine years old. I haven't seen banks like this since. The heavy snow and sleet piling up on rooftops led to numerous building collapses. Beaming Inc. near Oshkosh runs horse therapy programs for area youth. The partial collapse of their arena was stressful at the time, but the director looks back on it differently now. I think the tragedy that happened with the building collapsing made the public maybe more aware of everything that we do here for the community, all the great things that happen here with all of the horses and their equine partners and the therapeutic riding value. Other recoveries weren't so quick. The roof over the pool at the Ashwabanon Econo Lodge collapsed during Evelyn. The hotel still hasn't reopened. Evelyn set dozens of daily, monthly, and all-time snowfall records. It is now the largest snowstorm on record in Appleton at 21.2 inches. It's the largest April snowstorm and the second largest overall on record in Green Bay at 24.2 inches. The snow from Evelyn alone likely made it the snowiest month of April on record in most of Northeast Wisconsin. I've been here 44 years. I've never seen an April like this. I think we're all ready for a little uh, summer. And summer does invariably come every year, melting the winter snow away. But Blizzard Evelyn is a storm that will live on in memories and record books for a long time. Meteorologist Phil DeCastro, Fox 11 News. Fox 11's Amber Luckett joins us live from Green Bay. And Amber, the snow seems to be disrupting the lives of everyone this weekend. Gabrielle, it is. When I talked to business owners earlier today, they tell me in all of the years of living in Wisconsin, Blizzard Evelyn is by far one of the worst in their books. But they're telling me that as conditions continue, as they get better, they're hoping that business will get back to normal as usual. While Blizzard Evelyn continues to dump several inches of snow on northeast Wisconsin, some people are looking on the brighter side and trying to make the best out of these conditions. Well, I had to change all my plans, so I decided to put the prom dress I was going to wear today for my 40th on a snowman. But finding the silver lining hasn't been the easiest for everyone, especially for Green Bay students at East, Southwest, and Preble High Schools. Their prom was put on hold Saturday morning. Now the Green Bay School District does plan to reschedule those prompts. They tell us that they will have more information on those dates next week. Happening now with Blizzard Evelyn. Let's take a live look at road conditions across the state. A majority of the roads in Northeast Wisconsin pretty much don't want to be on them. The, those in black, yeah, treacherous. Travel again. There's really no point in being out on the roads tonight. Those in red, ice covered. Those in blue, snow covered. And those in purple, Slippery stretches. What is happening <laughs> with these roads? Nobody wants to go out in these roads. I mean, I mean, I don't. No, but it's, I'm going to have to get home. So it what's is going tough. On? 
It is tough, Gabrielle. You know, like, here's a look at our field house camera, and this is this is from this afternoon. And you can see snow falling at times. The heaviest of the snow was during the overnight hours, and it, it was lighter this afternoon and did give crews a chance to catch up a little bit. But now waves of heavy snow are coming back again, initially mixing with a little bit of ice, a little bit of sleet. So that is going to lead to some slippery roads around the area. And you can see in our Oshkosh camera traffic moving by at times through the evening hours, but can Conditions are about to deteriorate and they'll probably drop pretty quickly through the overnight hours. Manitowoc time lapse shows that uh, the rivers are running high around the area. We have had those lakeshore flood warnings for uh, the northern sections of the area and Sturgeon Bay time lapse again shows the water in the shipping channel is, is fairly high and we have seen some uh, snow just blowing past the camera even during the evening hours. Now the Fox 11 storm chaser has been out throughout the day tracking Blizzard Evelyn in different parts of the area and Phil very near our Sturgeon Bay weather camera right now, which we just finished with. Phil, how does it look <laughs> where you are? Uh, well, Patrick, right now I am in Sturgeon Bay, right next to the Maritime Museum. I can see our camera from here. It is still a very, very cold, snowy, and windy. You can probably hear that wind uh, getting picked up on our microphones. And I know a lot of people are not a fan of Windstorm Evelyn because it's April, but you know, it's really not all bad. It's all about how you frame the storm mentally. We were actually driving around uh, through Potawatomi State Park earlier today, uh, just uh, near uh, Sturgeon Bay, where they'd plowed one trail through parts of the park. Now, I don't recommend doing this, but because the snow was so heavy and wet, you could see the trees hanging on uh, the, uh, uh, the, I'm sorry, the snow hanging on the trees and the branches. It really was beautiful once you were in the woods sheltered from the wind, but in the most exposed areas, the drifts had started coming up over the plowed road. Obviously, we don't recommend anyone being out on the roads tonight and especially if you are going to be on the road sleep, make sure your headlights are on. Someone just drove past without their headlights on if you do have to be out and about, but really just try to stay home, hunker down. It's not actually snowing too bad in Sturgeon Bay right now, but in many areas it is going to be snowing very heavily with these strong winds all night long. So just make sure you're being careful as Blizzard Evelyn continues to move its way on through. Uh, live in Sturgeon Bay, we Fox 11 meteorologist Phil DeCastro, back to you. All right, thank you, Phil. As he mentioned, Winter Storm Evelyn is doing more than just causing headaches. It's also creating a little bit of fun time for some people out there, as well as some animals in the area. This video was sent to us by Jen in Shawano. As you can see, her pony enjoyed trotting around in the snow this morning, having a good time out there. Probably wondering what in the world is all this snow doing out here? Isn't it April? Tonight, the cleanup continues. Crews will be removing snow from downtown Appleton, specifically in that metered, uh, metered parking area. Live in Grand Chute, Pafu Yang, Fox 11 News. Pafu, thank you. With the threat of more snow later this week, many are having a tough time digging out from Evelyn. The storm is also causing some widespread damage. The wet and heavy snow bringing down branches and a few trees, also weighing heavily on the rooftops of some businesses. In Ashwaubenon, three separate structures collapsed. The carport was taken down on Saturday. Yesterday, the roofs of Machine Service and Econo Lodge caved under the weight. Blizzard Evelyn caused damage to much more than just rooftops. It also affected the dock for the USS Badger in Manitowoc. We received this video from Michael. The blacktop was cracked and a piece even broken off. In a statement, the company says officials are headed to Manitowoc to check the damage and to meet with city officials. If repair work is needed, it can happen immediately. The company says it believes it will have those repairs done before May 11th, the start of the Badger's sailing season. Well, officials say waves like these caused that damage. That is video from yesterday at Cape Point in Door County. Blizzard Evelyn certainly packing a heavy punch when it came to the winds. The storm whipped up huge waves along the shoreline. Thanks to Lee for sending us that video. Here with John Duran right now, and I tell you, this winter storm has kept the Timber Rattlers minor league baseball team 330 miles away from home for this week. And you were at Fox City Stadium in Grand Chute today, and your analysis was there's still shoveling to be done. Yeah, a ton of snow still on the <laughs> field, in the seats, all over the place. So no surprise the team moved its home games this week. But the team does plan on playing at Fox City Stadium a week from today. They'll host Clinton Lumber Kings. Timber Rattlers president Rob Zerjev says after this kind of a storm, it's all hands on deck. He also said one of the hardest things to do was decide where to start when it came to the cleanup. The team was supposed to open up a three-game homestand with the Kane County Cougars. Tuesday, but 
As you can see, that's not going to happen. Timber Rattlers will stay in Peoria all week, playing the Cougars there and then the Chiefs this weekend. But back home, they'll have a week to get the field in shape. It's a little bit different than, say, a Lambeau field where they just throw it down and they bring it right to the field. For us, we don't have that luxury with the, the dugouts and the netting. And uh, so it's shoveling it, bringing it up to the concourse, and then hauling it out. So it's, it's going to be an all-week process, but um, we'll get there ready to go for Monday. Lauren Khalil is live in the Fox Valley this morning. You were out all weekend, Lauren, in the snow, and now it's a little less harsh on you this morning. A little less harsh on me, but all of a sudden, the snow started again. <laughs> what is going on? And that's okay because we know that it's not going to get nearly as bad as it was all weekend long with um, you could barely see whiteout conditions as well as that um, freezing rain that was coming down on us yesterday. This well, it's snowing, but at least it's the fluffy stuff. But when it comes to those road conditions, um, still very icy out there, slushy, snow covered roads. Right now we're in a parking lot. You can see that um, while the plows have been through here, still covered in snow. Also, Lots of people are going to be dealing with this this morning too. Your cars are going to be stuck. Make sure you grab the shovel. You may even want to turn on your car to start thawing it out about 20 minutes before you need it. Um, as for the roads, plows have been out all morning long, all night long, really all weekend long, and they're going to con con continue to do that because these roads still need to get cleared up. It's going to take multiple times for them to go across them before everything's cleared off uh, between plowing them, salting them. Um, oh, and actually, if you go back down there, you can see somebody is already out. They are snow blowing because that street doesn't look like it's been plowed in a bit. You can see that thin layer of snow that's on top. Uh, side streets, not terrible. If you go very slow, but again, still going to be icy. Um, I 41 definitely better than some of the roads once you get into town, but plenty of neighborhoods still not plowed. As for Appleton, it's still snowing. We're still waiting for the cleanup to finish. It's going to be a long process, so make sure as you head out the door today, you do give yourself some extra time because the roads are still slippery. Yeah, even if it's better, it's still not great, so take it easy if you are heading to work this morning. Thanks, Lauren. Fox 11's Justin Steinbrink is checking out the conditions this morning. He joins us live from Green Bay. He's on top of the world today. Good morning, Justin. <laughs> You could say so, right? Yes, indeed. We're here at Lambeau Field in the parking lot, at least, where the snow removal process has begun. You know, Lambeau's been closed all weekend due to Blizzard Evelyn, but they are expecting to reopen to the public today at 11 o'clock once they can get parking spots for you to be able to, to come and, uh, be, and be here. Look at these drifts, these piles they've made, at least 15 feet tall. In fact, I can see the Lambeau cam from here over at the station just down the way a little bit. I bet you you could even see me up on top of one of these things right now. That, that, that's, how, uh, that's how high a lot of these drifts are. Hello world, can you see me on the Lambo cam? That's pretty Hello, cool. Justin. But as you, as you look, you can see there's like three layers worth of hills here. I thought Lombardi Avenue would be right on the other side of this hill, but no, I got three more hills to climb <laughs> in order to get there. Anyway, I'm coming on down because we've got more to talk about here with uh, our web director, we've got Scott Hurley, who's joining us here at Lambeau as well. And Scott, I know you've been talking to me all throughout the morning about the incredible amount of photos that we're getting and good photos from viewers with Blizzard Evelyn. Absolutely. Incredible is right. More than 3,200, 3,200 just since Friday alone. Here are a couple of them. Uh, you, you might say this weather is for the birds. Well, here's a robin uh, enjoying a snack that someone let out, left out for it. You know, they're, they're normally looking for nesting right now and getting ready to lay their eggs, uh, not in this weather. And then moving on, we've got a more uh, winter, uh, a custom bird, a couple of cardinals here, but even for the cardinals, this is something, you know, we haven't seen in 130 years. They haven't seen that either. So just incredible uh, pictures coming in. It's been crazy. We've been working nonstop since really Friday afternoon, Saturday, Sunday into today. I'm sure we'll get probably a couple hundred more today. And you can share your photos and videos at fox11online.com right in the top of the homepage, the banner. There's a link for share photos and videos. Also the Fox 11 News app, the Fox 11 weather app. Just select the menu and go into the reported section. Plenty of pictures and videos coming in and we love to see them. So just keep on sending them in. 
keep on, keep them coming. Hey, Scott, I Those have a pictures. deal for you. Yes. How about I go watch the web for a while and you take over here and come <laughs> on that land. Well, I think I've done my share for the day. There you go, bud. All right, sounds see, good. I'm going back to the station. We'll get to work here.